All right, guys, so huge breaking news. Uh, the Big 12 just expanded their invitations out to UCF, BYU, Houston, and Cincinnati. And you know, again, these are schools that do want to join the big, powerful conferences. They do want to join the Big 12 conference. So sooner or later, these schools will accept these invitations. And you know, we don't know an official date of when these schools will particularly join this conference. It's probably going to be maybe around 2022, maybe 2023. Uh, it could be, you know, again, you know, we don't know. It could be the next two to three years. Again, uh, Oklahoma and Texas did say that they, that they were going to, you know, they were pretty much going to go through their contract uh, of staying the Big 12, but you just never know. I mean, these schools can change their minds and they can say, you know what, we just want to leave the next year and we want to go to the SEC. So um, obviously we're going to have to you know, see and wait about what's going to happen with those particular schools, but um, this is a big deal. This is a very, very huge bail, a big deal right here. The Big 12 is in survival mode, clearly in survival mode. You're losing two of the biggest brands that the Big 12 has to offer, um, Oklahoma, right now is your only playoff contender. And if let's say Texas has a huge year this year, they have a huge brand name. A lot of people are going to want to see this team play. You know, college football, I believe, is better when the big brands are winning. And Texas and Oklahoma are the big brands right now. These are the big, these are your by far your biggest money makers as far as when it comes to revenue and stuff like that. So, um, you know, obviously losing those couple schools, now you have to bring in some other schools in here. Um, it's good for UCF and, you know, uh, schools like Cincinnati. It's good for these particular schools because these are schools that have kind of been disrespected by the College Football Playoff Committee. These are two of the most winningest programs out of the last three to four years. And, you know, again, Cincinnati was, at, remember, at one point they went undefeated in Iowa State and Oklahoma, a two-loss Oklahoma and a two-loss Iowa State were ahead of them in the rankings. Obviously, we, we all know what happened with UCF. They had two straight undefeated regular seasons. They both went to New Year's Six Bowl games instead of going into the college football playoff games. You know, obviously we know the story when it comes to that. So um, it gives them a huge chance. Now that they're in a Power Five conference, it gives them a huge opportunity for them to get in the college football playoffs. The bad thing is, is that, again, you're in a Big 12 conference where there isn't a true alpha. There isn't an Oklahoma. There isn't a Bama. There isn't an Ohio State. There isn't a Georgia. There isn't a Clemson caliber type of school in your conference. Um, right, you know, you're, these guys are going to have to earn it. You're going to have to prove again to those particular schools that you can compete with the big boys. And the Big 12, again, they're in survival mode. They're trying to save this particular conference. It's, it's, it's an historic conference. It's been around for a minute. Um, and again, it's trying to save its face. Um, do I think that they should probably expand and get some other teams in there? Potentially. Maybe they can try to expand and get some other historical brands, like maybe a Boise State. I, again, I understand Boise State is a Pac-12 type of school, at least in their region. But again, you're getting Cincinnati in your conference, and Cincinnati's in the Northeast region. So, um, you know, I would be open to, if, if I was the Big 12, to kind of expand, get other bigger brand schools to come join our conference. But it is what it is. It's a good opportunity for those particular schools to get more respect. Um, for the Big 12, it just, you know, it means that they can stay alive a little bit longer. But... The question is, is that how long will they survive without an Oklahoma and without a Texas, right? Those schools are joining the SEC. The SEC is the ultimate power. The Big Ten and the ACC have been in huge talks when it comes to, you know, crossover games and expansion. So obviously we're going to figure out when the hell is going to happen the next possible year about what's going to happen for when it comes to the college football universe. But Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Is this a good thing for the Big 12? Is this a good thing for the Cincinnati's and the UCF's of the world? Let me know in the comment section. We can have a conversation about it and right below the comments. But anyway, guys, Jan Sports, and I will catch you guys in a little bit. Peace.